my name is Nikhil Patel, and I'm an engineering manager on in Azure Data Organization, working on Azure Database Migration Service. Today we will talk about migrating MongoDB to Azure Cosmos DB MongoDB API. And I will be showing you a deep demo of how easy it is to do the migrations. Azure Cosmos DB is world scale, planet scale database that Azure has to offer for all your NoSQL needs. And one of the big questions people have is how do I do the migration of MongoDB to Azure Cosmos DB? Azure Database Migration Service was, it will enable you to do this migration seamlessly and reliably at large scale. It is really easy to use the service. Uh, it's guided by the wizards from right from creating service all the way to migrating your data online. Let's start a quick uh, demo to do so. Here I have created a instance of database migration service. I have named it demo DMS service. Here you'll see the overview page which tells you how, what the service uh, status looks like. It tells you about the resource group that the service is provisioned in, the virtual network. This is the network that enables you to connect the service to your MongoDB instances running either on-prem or in any cloud. Could be AWS or Google Cloud, doesn't matter. The subscriptions that you're going to use to provision the service and do the migration. So let's go ahead and create the project, which you will then use to do the migration. Here's, let's go create this project. Let's name the project. Let's say Mongo Migration Project. Let's take the source server as MongoDB. The target is Cosmos DB MongoDB API. And we are going to do offline data migration. What I mean by offline data migration is this is a snapshot migration. So it will take all the data that is available at the time of migration and move it over. The subsequent data will not be moved as part of offline. It will only be moved when you enable an online migration. We'll talk about that in another video. Once you have entered these details, we'll just say create and run activity. At this point, the service is creating the project. It has created the project. And this is the five-step migration that we I spoke about. Very super simple five-step wizard that will guide you of migrating from on-prem to cloud so, or from a cloud, different cloud to different cloud. Um, in source, uh, we will give the MongoDB a machine that runs a MongoDB. So I have created one. Let's go Azure Corp.com. We hit save. At this point, the service is connecting to the MongoDB and it's retrieved all the details. Now we have to give the target. Let's choose this, the target where I have provisioned Cosmos DB account. In the subscription DMS test, I have, here's the name of DMS test, Cosmos is the name of my Cosmos DB. What the service has done is it has gone and enumerated all the Cosmos DB accounts that run in subscription DMS test. And it has created a connection string that will be used to connect to that already. Makes it really simple. You don't have to copy paste or type really long string. Hit save. At this point, the service is connecting to the Cosmos DB account and it is enumerating all the details there. Okay. Here's the third step of the wizard, which is database settings. Here you can see the service has already done all the hard work of figuring out what you have on source, what you have on target, and what are the potential options that are available for you to do the migration. It, if it finds a target database on Cosmos DB that exists, that also exists on the source, it does an auto selection. 
thinking that you want to potentially migrate that database. You don't have to. We can, in this case, we can do all or do one migration. I, for demo purposes, I'll do a migration of a single database. It's called DB. Here, the icon says use existing MongoDB at target. It tells us that, okay, use the same name that you have on the uh, source on the target. It also asks you to give a throughput value if you want to use a shared throughput at the database level. This is a feature of Cosmos DB to manage multiple databases under the same account where you add multiple collections where you can use the same uh, uh, RUs split across uh, multiple collections. We can leave it blank and we will use, uh, we will move on. Once you select the database settings, we, the service goes and enumerates all the collections that are running, that are available for you to do migrations. It has found two collections called call and call two. It has also suggested default RUs of 500. This is, we call it a smart default because what the service has done, it has inter interrogated your collections and understood the amount of space required and amount of RUs that would be best suitable for you to operate the collection. You can always override this to any number that is suitable, as you find suitable. We can leave this at default. You also have options to give shard keys if you'd like to change the shard key or in, have a different shard key on target. Uh, we can leave it blank for now. And um, that's it. We can just hit save and the service has all, it, all the inputs it requires to do the migration. So right now the service has gone ahead and set up the entire migration process. It asks you for the activity name. We can say run migration. This is so that you can disambiguate multiple migrations that you run. In the summary, you can see the target is DMS test Cosmos DB. That's the Cosmos DB running in Azure. Um, the target server version of the Mongo that the Cosmos DB API exposes is 3.2. Here's the source server name, which is the machine that's running a MongoDB, which is running 3.6. And the database, we we found six databases on source, but we selected one, so it tells you that it's one. We have another unique feature that helps you migrating the large data sets fairly quickly. It's called Boost RU. This feature, what it does is, even though you've selected 500 RUs as your uh, collection, the RUs needed to run your collections at. During the migration, we feel that we, you'll require a larger RUs to increase your throughput and the boost RU feature on the service will go and automatically figure what's the maximum RUs that you can boost during migration so that your post-migration RUs on the collections don't change, which will be 500. This really speeds up the migrations and takes away the process of trial and error when it comes to migrating large data sets. That's it, we are gonna go hit run migration. The service has now created a task that it's running under this project. Let's hit refresh. It's already started copying the collections and the documents. It already found it has about 200, 203,000 documents to migrate. Let's hit, oh, it's already documented quite a bit. Here we can see the details of the collections being copied. We see call one, call two, both being copied. Here's, you get to see how many live instance, live number of documents being migrated and the, the throughput that it's achieving at the moment. You also see the download logs over here. What that gives you is if you wanna know if there are errors or warnings that the service has flagged during the migration time, you can get the details of all of those errors in this logs. So it makes it really convenient for you to go and interrogate your entire migration process via the logs. Here I'm hitting refresh, it's almost done. And once it's done, the service will give a status of the collections 
being copied is done there it shows it's all complete and it was as easy as as that what azure dms really does is it takes away all the pain of using multiple tools to do the migrations and it encapsulates the entire process into a single service with a step by step wizard that takes you uh, takes the migration process from your on prem or competitive clouds to azure cosmos db at a really really simpler level for additional resources please go and have a look at these links the database migration guide is comprehensive guide that will help you deciding your migration needs and also has details about how you can migrate from mongodb to cosmos please leave your questions and comments in the section below that will help us improve the service and the content that will be useful for you thank you